What's up, everyone? I wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting my first vlog ever at the spa. And yeah, you're going to see a lot more of that because I am spa addicted. I'm a spa holic. Okay, and I've been to other spas out here on the strip. And so I'll be showing you a little bit more of that. But today I wanted to kind of show you my little day in the life. Working out is so <laughs> important to me. Working out is such a huge part of my life. I mean, if I don't work out, like I'm telling you, I'm a 180 degree different kind of person, all right? It's crazy, you know, I was an athlete back in the day, I guess, like in high school. I ran cross country and I was a lot slimmer, a lot smaller. I mean, cause that really can eat at your muscle mass. So you just got a lot of lean muscle. I was like 127 to 135 pounds. I maintained that through all of college until I got diagnosed with hyperthyroidism and that really threw a lot of things off my metabolism. I mean, I was experiencing a thyroid storm. If you don't know, you can die from that. And so fortunately, you know, I got that under control, but with that, my weight has fluctuated a lot. And to combat that, I really turned to heavy lifting at the gym. It was like a new challenge for me. It was so much fun because I mean, I got to the point where, I mean, I was squatting 245 twice at the top of my pyramid. So I really built up a lot of endurance, a lot of strength in my legs. And I feel like I have enough muscle for the next 20 to 30 years when it comes to my legs, if I'm honest. And that's kind of crucial because as we get older, it becomes harder to gain muscle mass, especially for somebody like me who has hyperthyroidism. I mean, if you don't watch it, you could get osteoporosis. If you're dealing with hyperthyroidism and it's not being treated, and you're really hyper, um, meaning that your body's producing way too many hormones. That means that, I mean, it, it could start eating away at your muscle. Anyway, today I'm gonna do a little bit of a leg day, even though nowadays I really focus on cardio because I'm no longer really trying to get super strong. Like I feel like I'm already there and I feel pretty good about it. So I just kind of go in, jog my muscle memory, and I wanna show you guys a little bit of that because I do get a lot of questions about physique and stuff. Get this work in so I can start the rest of my day. Anyway, I don't even know if I'm supposed to record in here. I don't, I don't really know. I'm more of a like beg forgiveness instead of ask permission kind of person. <laughs> now, one thing about me, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm big on manners. I'm really big on polite things. And one thing I really can't stand is when you hold the door for somebody and they don't say thank you. So you better hope there's not two sets of doors. Because if I hold the first one and you fool me, Guess what? I am not getting that second one. Have some common courtesy and maybe the door won't hit you in your face. All right, here's a look at the work outfit. Two piece gray outfit from Aritzia, which I love. Now let's take a look at what I have to have on me when I go to the gym. My perfume, big bottle of water. Gotta have two sets of AirPods and my trusty lip balm and some really good chewing gum for sure. And so here we go. Let's get things started. All right, I kick things off with 25s on each side free weight of course and that's 95 pounds and I hit that like 15 times I used to do it like 20 times but 15 and I kind of just do this as like my warm-up set to really get things going and then you know after I'm done here I kind of start doing my stretching and stuff right and so yes I wear my vans to work out on leg day I just feel like that gives me the best grip with the ground and if I don't have vans on I will take my shoes off and I will squat in socks that is a real thing. But so important to stretch after, you know, that warm up set and everything. And I do a lot more stretches. You just didn't see them on camera. And then I kick things off with 135. And I'm not as strong as I used to be, which doesn't really bother me here. But I just, like I said, I'm doing kind of like jog the muscle memory leg day. And so I'll get like this set of 135, like maybe 10, 12 times, move up to 185 here. I think I hit this like six times when I'm feeling really good 10 times how I used to do it in the past 20 times and that's why my legs are as big as they are and why I can kind of just jump back in and just pick this up after not really doing a legit leg day for like two weeks and so yeah excuse me if the camera angles a little bit weird but yes everything is on the up and up uh, this is 205 um, I used to have a belt somebody stole it and I just haven't really felt the need for it And once again if the angles are a little bit weird making you feel like oh, it's too close to my neck or something like that It's not it's exactly where I like it. It's it's perfectly comfortable. I prefer it a little bit higher up um, And just so you know, these are real 45s that I'm gonna be lifting next Yes, at this gym the standard 45 is that size some people put on those big weights and you think oh They're lifting heavy and they're only lifting like 135. No, this is 225 legit right here Which I used to be able to hit like, you know five ten times now. I'm kind of like eh, I'm, I got one in me today 
when I went down the second time, I wasn't really feeling it and I didn't want to have to drop it. And I do know how to drop it and get out of it safely, which is super important when you're lifting that kind of weight. Decided to do some split squats here. Sometimes I will not do them with any weight whatsoever, which is super good for your balance. And I love doing that. Um, I kept the weight really light here. I used to do a lot heavier weight, but I just don't really feel the need to as I'm just kind of trying to maintain here. So hit a little bit of that, let it burn, you know, really focused on that form, really focused on the feeling and targeting those areas that I really, really, really want to hit. And there I am just, you know, taking a second, drinking my water, picking out the next really important song. I was probably listening to some TM103 Young Jeezy or maybe some Linkin Park, something like that. And yeah, once again, here are my vans. Uh, some people are like, oh, you have small feet. Yeah, well, I wear a seven and a half in women's. And after every workout, I'm always rinsing my face constantly. I mean, in between workouts. So that was squats. And so now I'm coming over here to do some RDLs, which I don't do as much anymore because I felt like with some of the different um, deadlifting I was doing, it was starting to round out my traps. And I build muscle pretty easily. I think it's because I'm like Nigerian and Polish. And <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I got to watch myself. And so here I am doing some glute bridges. Usually I do them with like 90 or 100, but I don't want to get bruised up. I have a little booty band on there to make it a little bit more difficult, but that's not really heavy weight for me. And if I was really trying to get more gains, I'd probably do a bit more than that, actually. And so I also love these kickbacks. I feel like they're the best and it always kills me when I'm in other states and certain gyms don't have it because I feel like it's a great way to target your glute and you can really isolate them on this machine, but you really have to try. So flex that glute, push it back. This weight is like 130 pounds. Like I said, I'm pretty strong here. I could lift heavier, but nah. I'm a big fan of the hip abductors, hip adductors, or the good girl, bad girl machine as they're known. Um, I think it's really important to stabilize and make your hips stronger, especially when you're lifting the kind of weight that I do when it comes to squatting. It is a big difference. And I do these back extensions. Some people are probably going to say, oh, you're not going down low enough, da, 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 da. But really, I'm not using this for my lower back. My lower back is as strong as I really want it to be. I just kind of focus on this for my hamstrings and my glutes. Um, I could add weight. And I could lift it. I could put a 25. I could put a hold a 45 and do it. But I, I don't really want, I'm not trying to build that. I'm really proud of my results and um, just working on slimming down. So I spent a lot of time doing cardio. But this was my mini leg day. I hope right. you enjoyed it. That was a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to run like to Target real quick. I forgot that I don't have any face moisturizer at home. You know, I take my skincare very seriously. Okay. I always have my lip gloss on me. When I'm at the gym, because I hate having chapped lips when I'm working out, it's just so distracting to me, I can't even focus. And it's so funny because everybody thinks like I have a vape on. Like on Instagram, everybody's like, oh my God, is that a vape? I'm like, bro, who the hell is vaping and working out at the same time? And I do not vape. It's not good for you. I don't smoke. Um, yeah, I don't, do, I don't do none of that smoking. I don't partake in the marijuanas. I don't do any of that. <laughs> I'm somewhat of a square myself. My first job ever was actually at Target, which is crazy. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, I worked as a cashier, but sometimes I would fill in for guest services, so customer service, returns, all that kind of stuff. And then I'd sometimes work in a little food snack area, which was kind of fun. I used to work at Target, and it was one of my favorite jobs because I loved talking with people. It was just so much fun. And back then, back then when I was working there, dude, they had the best gum. I don't know if you guys remember this, Orbit made this gum called Maui Melon Mint. They don't make it anymore. So freaking good. And so I loved working at the cash register because I'd always look at the like different kinds of gum that they had. And I'm like a big gum person. I love chewing gum. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's a bad habit, but in a lot of pictures where I'm smiling, sometimes you'll just see my gum like, eh, I'm like, uh, starving right now. Okay. I don't even know if you're supposed to do this, but you know, you know my motto. Okay. Love this, need that. Here. My favorite. Okay. 29.67. That's all I got. Two little things. Okay, cool. I told you guys that would be really quick. So my bill was $29 for some face wash and some moisturizer. But then because I saved 10%, it was like $26. And so we love that. We love, we love that. <laughs> now um, I'm just gonna go home, take a shower, and get ready for the next part of the day. But if you guys wanna see more vlogs, more of my day-to-day -day life, and the fun stuff that I do, please let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, give me feedback, because I am new to this. Yes, I've worked on TV for about 10 years now, but still, this is kind of new, 
for me. And so, you know, let me know if I'm doing something wrong, if I need to be doing something better, any of that. Um, but until then, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. And I'll see you back here soon. Bye.